feeling a lack of appreciation for police as racial tensions across the country rise and protests continue against police brutality. One Georgia officer goes viral following an emotional Facebook Live outside a Richmond Hill McDonald's. Well, tonight she's defending that video. Our Stephen Moody joins us now live with more on what she had to say. Stephen. Shannon, that video has now been viewed millions of times on social media. And now, as you can expect, it all started a lot closer to home than you think. Do you regret making that video? Part of me really does. Um, my daughter has gotten threats now, I found out today. I've had threats. Uh, every bit of personal information I've ever had in my life is now out there for the taking. Uh, I've had to have Savannah Chatham watch over not only my home, but also my patrol vehicle. I've received so many messages that are hateful. This all comes after the release of this video on Officer Stacy Talbert's Facebook page. It was shot in the parking lot of this McDonald's in Richmond Hill. In the video, Talbert complains that she didn't receive the correct order and she's fearful of correcting the worker because she doesn't know what will happen to her order. She offered to refund my money. I said it is not a problem. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Uh, we'll see each other again whenever. And then she offered to take down my name and my information so that she could uh, purchase my next meal if I had wanted. And I told her that was fine also. At that point, I knew she thought something was wrong with me. After the video's release, a lot of people took to social media to agree with the officer. However, a lot of people also took to social media to call her out for what they call a quote overreaction. She was even given a nickname on Twitter of hashtag Officer Karen. Actor Ture tweeted his response saying quote, crying officer Stacy didn't have any evidence that McDonald's was poisoning her food. She was suspicious based on no evidence. She kind of treated an egg McMuffin the way cops treat black people. The 15 year veteran of the force says she will think twice about using drive throughs in the future. It's not so much about the fact that I feel nervous, but I don't want half. I don't want to have to explain to anyone ever again why I am nervous about taking food from them when they just want to help. Now later, she would say that the positive feedback that she received from other officers about speaking out from sharing that video was worth it in the long run. Reporting live, I'm Stephen Moody for WJCL 22 News. Stephen, thank you. Now, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and Newsweek, the owners of the Richmond Hill McDonald's have apologized to that officer.